Okay, men, sit down and shut up and listen up. I have to say a few things before we get ready for this fucking game today. This is the last thing I'm going to say about that Cowboys game. It was a fucking anomaly, and you know it, each and every one of you. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong. You were a horse that came out of the gate and broke all four legs in the first furlong. And I don't even know what a fucking furlong is. You know what that game was like? It was like a singer taking a stage and starting to sing. And right when that singer starts, that's when the food poisoning kicks in. So this poor dope is trying to sing and now crap is flying out his ass and puke is is spewing out his mouth and nose and pee is shooting out of his pants are all getting soaked with piss. That's what happened to you last week. You took the field and started to play and you all wrapped yourselves up in a shit and piss and puke cocoon. The only way a field goal can be blocked is for three reasons. Number one, the snap is fucked up. Number two, the kicker fucks up. Number three, the offensive line allows a defender in. If we allow one more blocked field goal this year, I will personally find out what and who was responsible for it and then literally hammer the nuts of the offender or offenders. Listen to me. I will lay your gonads on a table and hammer them repeatedly. So what did we just learn, gentlemen? There will be no more blocked field goals this year! Where's Neil? Neil, here's the deal. The offensive line doesn't work if there's one weak link. You're a stud. You need to remember how to play like a stud offensive lineman. If we give Danny time and we give Saquon holes, we got nothing to worry about. It's that simple. Guys, you need to lock arms on that line and play like motherfucking steamrollers every fucking play. Gentlemen, it's time to put that cowboy game behind us. We have 16 games left to play. Every team is going to lose a few over the course of a season. It's how many you win that tells the story of the season. If, if we win. No! When we win today! Then we sit at one and one and the horror is behind us and we can concentrate on what we need to concentrate on moving forward. There is no room for failure today. We win this game, shut everyone the fuck up, and move forward with strength. We win this game today! There is no other option! Guys, we're a good team. We really are. We learned how to win together last year. We Then we got even better and added some great parts to this machine. Dable is a good coach. Showing keeps this machine running smoothly with the right parts. It's all in your heads. What happens on that field today or any day is because you guys play with your heads and your hearts. This is a game played by humans. You line up against another human. You can be stronger, better, faster, smarter. So do that! Line up against the other guy and rip off his nuts. Twist his head and pull it right off his shoulders. Block. Those guys right into the ground, tackle them so hard they don't want to carry the ball. Every one of you beat the man in front of you and the rest takes care of itself. What 
that's that. I fucking love you guys. I really do. You can accomplish anything you want. So go out and do it. Do it. Go out and make that Arizona team wish they never took the field. I'll see you guys out there, okay? You go, you motherfucking big blue monsters. You go out and fucking crush those fuckers.